What's up guys? In this video, I have some thousand IQ strats that I'm super excited to show you. These have been working great for me in Ranked, and I'm stoked to show you the highlights and what you can do with them. But really quick, I wanted to say thank you guys so much for 200 subs. Y'all are the best, and this wouldn't be any fun without you guys. And if you're not yet subscribed, definitely consider doing so, so you don't miss any of my latest Ranked Ready strategies. And since it's free and easy, you can unsubscribe anytime you like. All right, let's get into these highlights, and then I'll show you how you can do these strats in your next Ranked game. Dead? First strat I gotta show you guys is the 1000 IQ castle strat in server room on canal. If you're like I was, you probably hate playing castle, but since they added the 1.5 scope, he's my new favorite defender. And he's such a strategic operator, believe it or not. The way you start this canal server hold with castle is by putting down the beepy thingies. The first beeper goes on the sky bridge on these black boxes. I like to tuck it behind the white monitor. You might want to just get out of there. Next you'll castle off the sky bridge window so they can't get that long angle into sight. I like to put punch holes at the bottom of this wall next to the window so that the attackers pre-fire it, giving away their position. Then I hop on this desk and stand on the white printer to elevate myself just a little bit taller and put a hole just above head height to see anybody pushing from sky bridge. Then I'll prep holes between sights above head height and make a rotate on the far left side while you're at it. I also prep holes into control above head height to get the long angle on Skybridge all the way from server. Nice. Nice. These holes let you see anybody pushing red from pillbox. The second beeper goes above the green stairs but not below this half wall so that it will be triggered when anyone pushes up the green stairs or into the green hallway. And if you have time you can put more punch holes in the control wall to make the attackers more skeptical. The final touches of prep phase are to have your Jaeger or Wamai put discs or ADSs inside the box so that once they get the wall, it'll further waste their utility trying to open up the castle barricade. The genius of this strat is putting up the castle barricade right as they're getting the wall, so they can't drone it out ahead of time and save their utility. Also, since we'll be pocketing two castle barricades, you can put it up twice to waste even more time and utility. Is that Cali? They got the castle barricade? The sky bridge. I hope you use and have a lot of fun with this strat because it's so off the wall, people just don't know what to do with it. A lot of people hate theme park, but that's because they don't know how to play it. So I'm excited to show you this Jackal Ace duo attack strat for an armory throne that has yet to fail me. For this strat, I start out spawning bumper cars. You'll be pushing from cash balcony into the office, so make sure to be cautious of runouts and spawn peaks. Very effective duo strat. Once you're on the balcony, have Ace drone you in and use your jackal track ability to clear out the roamers as fast as possible, without risking Ace dying. Once the roamers are cleared, use your shotgun secondary to open up holes in the floor that look right over the armory wall. Keep your distance while you're doing this in case they see four. This will allow you to get whatever wall denial they have off the wall so the ace can get it from below in lockers. It. It'll also allow you to clear most all of the players in armory out into throne or simply pick them off. Once Ace gets the wall, I push down yellow stairs to help Ace and the rest of your teammates take site control and plant in armory. 
Plan, guys. There might be a guy fireplace because you can't see him from the vertical holes above. Go for plant. The last thing is to go for plant and hold angles. This strat sucks up a lot of time, but is incredibly effective and worked twice in a row on the same team. Split. The next strat I want to show you guys is a very simple Ella Roam strat for kayaks on canal. Since I don't have much setup, I go ahead and grab the hatches for my teammates. Then I set up this shield and reception. This shield is mostly just for bait, to make them think I'm playing on the west side. I put an Ella mine on the computer monitor to let me know when they're in reception. I also like to open up these holes, which is a common place for attackers to push in and sit. Then I put a goo mine in model room at the corner so that if anybody walks through security or around this corner, I'll know. The last L mine goes above this doorway in case they do drone me out and try to push me aggressively. The reason this strat works is because for some reason they don't drone around the corner. They just drone out into the hallway and then drone somewhere else. Also because there's a lot of close range areas upstairs that are really well suited for this shotgun. Now up next might not necessarily be a strat, but it's a pretty awesome cade setup that I really wanted to show you guys because I just came up with it. On Oregon, when you win the other sites and now you're playing kitchen dining. Since everybody goes above to get the denial off the wall, I came up with a sneaky cade setup that is unstoppable unless they bring IQ. They can't figure out where it is. All you're gonna do is use your first electric claw up in the small tower in a place where they could easily melee it if they knew where it was. The thing is, you actually have to make sure it's on the cabinet and not on the floor. For some reason, if you put it on the floor, it won't electrify the wall. Then you put your other electric claw on the concrete portion close to the ceiling. Make sure the electric claw is actually on the wall and not on the ceiling to make it harder to shoot. You can line it up with the edge of the clock to get it as far away as possible. I hate consulate so much, so I'm always trying to come up with good strategies to make my life easier and get the dubs on this freaking map. When defending garage, it's common for attackers to go above in piano and play vertically on this site to clear it out. My new favorite strat for this is simple. It's called Don't Let That Happen. Since your prep is fast and easy, grab the bathroom hatch and the circle desk hatch for your team. Using Malusi, we'll put all three of her gadgets upstairs. I prefer these locations. Once you put them down, you just wait for them to come and try to waste all of their time. And somewhere around yellow. No man's dead. Alright, they got stuff off wall. Don't be dead, don't be dead. Last one outside. This strat is incredibly simple and has been very effective for me so far. Now, while we're on consulate, there's a sneaky attack strat that you can do with Amaru when attacking CEOs. This works best if you can get a drone in CEO to go up the hatch when no one's looking, or go up the hatch when one of your teammates is on CEO repel and is distracted. You'll start out by entering through garage. Once garage looks clear, you'll go up the bathroom hatch to the second floor. 
and then the CEO hatched to catch them by surprise. This strat's not 100% sound and isn't always the play, but when it works, it's incredibly satisfying. Cafe Shubadoopski. This is a kitchen defense strat. We'll be holding down bakery. I use this mute strat every time I play cafe and it hardly ever fails me. Here's how you set it up. Put your first mute jammer on the left side of this gold square. Second mute jammer tied up against the prep corner. Third mute jammer goes right in front of this marble column, keeping them from droning you and breaching the small bakery wall. The last mute jammer goes on the prep wall. Since three of these jammers are so close to each other, they really can't drone you out unless they're extremely careful. Also, talk your Jaeger into getting you one, preferably two ADSs right there above your mute jammers so they can't nade or flash you out of there. Then you go prone behind the chair, which can be hard to see over, so sometimes I destroy it depending on how I'm feeling. Take your time to line up the shot because 90% of the time they don't see you there anyways. If I feel too much pressure I just hop over the white cabinet and stay towards the outer edge of it so I don't get shot from the small bakery window. You can then use a well-timed C4 to try and kill the guys swinging who think you're still there. I have diffuser down. Jumping back to canal is another way of defending server. Shout out to my cousin Crash the Bandle Coop for showing me this aggressive Ella hold on the red stair. Start this strat out by talking your Jaeger into giving you at least one ADS at the top of red stairs to help with nades and flashbangs. At least if you're if you're really feeling it too, because I'm not I'm just really aggressive. Then prep footholes on the right side of this soft wall so you can blast them if they try to enter the box. You'll definitely want to reinforce the left side of the wall. Put an L mine above the first flight of the stairs so you'll know if anybody starts to push up. Then set your shield up in line with the radar room doorway facing the red hall window. This is to protect you from the red and green window jump in. Also put an L mine in the top corner of pillbox so you know if they start to push that as well. In this strat I find myself pushing away from the red stairs to get kills but then always returning to keep pressure on the Breach and pillbox.
Blast it over here by the green stairs on the shield. 